In future videos, we'll be getting into some of the dietary and nutritional claims made by the Weston A. Price Foundation. But for today, I just want to start with something simple, and that is a pretty basic claim that's made by by them. And let's let's check that out. If we go to the home page of their website, what brought this up is that I've I've heard several people talk about the fact that well, you know, they are a it's a nonprofit organization, it's a foundation. So what what reason would we have to disbelieve what they're saying? It's not like they're in it for the money. Um, they're a they're a nonprofit. They're a 501c3. Therefore, um, that's a pretty good reason. Uh, now, I, I've not heard somebody say that that's you know that you should just believe what they say just based on that fact. But it does lend them credibility. The fact that they are a nonprofit, so it it obviously means that people don't have in this organization don't have a vested interest in. Uh, communicating their message and they're just doing it for some kind of altruistic means and you can see where they get this idea it's right here on the home page it's the very first sentence on the on the page isn't it Weston A. Price Foundation is a nonprofit tax-exempt nutrition education foundation I mean look at it nonprofit tax-exempt it comes even before nutrition education as if to subtly emphasize the fact that they are communicating their message for not for reasons of financial gain but simply because they are crusaders for truth that's interesting to me um, what I'd like to do to start out is dispel this notion that a nonprofit tax-exempt 501c3 which is what they are uh, I'd like to dispel this notion that, uh, you know, people hear the term nonprofit and they think, well, it doesn't make any money. Uh, all right, they they have all these crazy ideas about what it means to be a nonprofit. Uh, just because nonprofit, first of all, nonprofit does not mean non-revenue, non-income. Nonprofit does not mean non-salary pain. It doesn't mean non financial benefit in some other means uh, by some other means we'll be getting into that but just to, just to get into the basics of what it means to be a nonprofit now see I'm I'm going here to the um, the Weston A Price Foundation they make such a big deal out of this so we might as well use it they they post their they post their tax returns online so that you can take a look at them and I guess verify that they're legitimate and they're that they're not in it for the money well we'll see what that looks like by the by the end uh, of this presentation but um, so you can see very clearly right here it's uh, nonprofit does not mean non-income uh, you know any organization is going to have income it's going to have expenses uh, now if we look at their 2000 tax 2010 tax return what we'll also see is that uh, nonprofit also does not mean no salaries are paid here we've got salaries other compensation employee benefits they've you know they play out pay out plenty of salaries that's a hundred almost 170 K paid out to a total of three employees uh, in 2010 um, so again what does nonprofit mean then uh, well profit just means that you have more income than expenses and to be a nonprofit essentially means that uh, if you do have more income than expense I'm not certain on all the exact tax rules of it but essentially what it means is this that uh, either your expenses should be higher than your income um, or if your income is higher than your expenses then that means you have a profit it would mean that that profit is not paid out to shareholders in the company but rather is reinvested back into into the organization 
uh, and that's most often why uh, a nonprofit will have greater expenses than income because um, they have to they have to spend that money anyway. That's that's the way the organization is uh, created in order to have 501c3 status with the IRS. Um, uh, you're not going to be able to. The owners of the company are not going to be able to take the profits out of it. They're going to have to spend it at one time or another. So so you can see that's that's what they're doing here in in most years. They've got uh, you know here they've got about oh uh, is that about forty thousand more expenses uh here it's over a hundred thousand they do have a couple yeah they made a slight profit this year but again it's not it's not the fact that they make a profit that's a problem it's that they they can't distribute that distribute that to any shareholders of the company they have to reinvest it in the company so that's what it means to be a nonprofit. now let's get into the more um important and relevant um things that we have to talk about as it regards the Weston A. Price Foundation. Again, let's remember when talking about this, the reason that this is important is, again, the implication that because they're a nonprofit, it means they have no financial incentive to distribute the information that they do. And they're, they're not out to push any kind of agenda. They're just objective researchers who have discovered the, the truth about uh, nutrition and they're they just want to spread it with the world altruistically through this educational foundation again the the key here is that this idea that they have no financial incentive to do what they're doing and basically what I want to dispel here is this notion notion that there is no financial incentive it's it's absolutely ridiculous okay now let's let's look at uh, something here. Uh, of course, the the undisputed head of the Weston A. Prize Foundation is Sally Fallon. Now, if we go several pages into this, we see here under the compensation of officers, directors, trustees, uh, part seven of the return, um, it said that Sally Fallon uh, works an average of 30 hours per week uh, in the Weston A. Price, Weston A. Price Foundation. Now you can go back and verify what I'm saying here, but every they've got tax returns on the site listed all going all the way back to, well, they report their income and expenses going all the way back to 2002. The first return that you can see for 2000 is, and is for 2005. But for all of these returns, she's always been listed as working an average of 30 hours a week. Uh, so that's, you know, it's pretty much a full work week uh, that she's been uh, putting into the foundation. And so what I want to say, first of all, is if you truly think that she is not being paid, that she's just been working a full-time job for the last... 10 years and has not been getting any kind of financial benefit out of it, then uh, sorry, you're crazy. Now, one thing that I will say about Sally Fallon is that she is a very intelligent and shrewd businesswoman. And I think that will become apparent as we talk about this more. Uh, but one example of that is you see right here her reportable compensation from the Weston A. Prize Foundation for 2010 is listed as zero. And if you go back through you know, the 2005 through 2010 tax returns, I don't believe I found any uh, year in which she was paid any kind of significant compensation from the Weston A. Prize Foundation. Uh, there were, I think there was a, a year, maybe it was 2009 or eight, where she was paid $6,000 or something like that, but certainly not any kind of livable income. Uh, so now most people would be tempted to look at that and say, well, well, look, you see, it's, it's exactly what I was thinking all along. And you're obviously wrong in criticizing her here because she's she's not taking any kind of salary from 
from the foundation. Therefore, it is just this big charitable organization with altru altruistic motives and and everything. Um, well, that's not uh, that's not actually the case. Um, you know, I look at the fact going back here to page one of the return, the fact that they paid out almost a hundred and oops, one hundred and seventy thousand in salaries to uh, three people over the course of the year. So 170,000 um, spread over three employees, that's that's better than uh, 55,000 per year per employee. Uh, so if you think the foundation is paying out that kind of money and that she is not being financially compensated, uh, at all, and that's been the case for the last 10 years, then again, that's that's just uh, an absurd idea. Um, it certainly is good, very good PR for anybody that would dig into it this far, and I, I don't think most people would because they just would take them at their word, but if you wanted to, and if she wanted to point it out, she could say, well, look at my tax return. I haven't taken any compensation uh, from the foundation, and that's, that's true. I, I don't think she has. I mean, I Take it, take it for what it's saying here that that this is true and that she really was not paid any kind of salary by by the foundation. But that's not at all to say that she hasn't been taking her pay from elsewhere. Um, for instance, she's got this New Trends Publishing uh, company, which is a which is a separate entity, a separate legal entity from. Uh, the Weston A. Price Foundation, and I think it's very reasonable to suppose that she is taking some kind of salary from that. And it, again, I I think the the idea that uh, the idea that she is not making a solid six-figure income and has been for quite some time, uh, it's ridiculous to suppose anything else. Um, we're talking about just the Weston A. Price Foundation is is bringing has been bringing in uh, over a million dollars a year for the last several years, and its its growth um, over the last ten years has has been uh, it's been pretty exponential. You know, you look at it in in ten years' time, they have um, in ten years' time, what is it? They've close to they've got uh, what is that about eight or nine times the income? Uh, well, that's actually only in 2010. So who knows what 2012 is or 2011 is going to look like? Uh, but point being, their income has grown uh, exponentially for quite some time. And the idea that she's not making uh, a very solid six-figure income uh, from this, from her entire uh, network of businesses uh, is just absurd. <clears throat> but again, it is very, um, it, it's, it certainly is shrewd uh, public relations to be able to publish the fact that I'm not getting any compensation from the organization. And, uh, you know, I think if her compensation were coming through this company, she wouldn't make it public. I mean, who wants to let the world know how much money they make per year? Nobody wants to publish that kind of information. Um, and that's that's the purpose of having a, a good uh, CPA firm uh, uh, structure your business entities and do your tax planning so that, um, for one thing, you can minimize your tax liability and uh, for another thing, maximize your, your profits. And that's, that's certainly what she has been doing. And there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, of course. I mean, it's what every good business person does. The only thing I have a problem with is uh, putting out what is actually uh, the maximization of profit and the minimization of tax liability. And putting that out there is, uh, you know, oper doing that under the guise of, altruistic and objective scientific education.